بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وبه نستعين وصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تبعهم إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Respected brothers, sisters and beloved children Inshallah briefly tonight I will be sharing some reflection from just 21 one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beautifully releasing a secret of success in this dunya and how to achieve his pleasure hereafter. See how beautifully Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in Surah Al-Ankabud at number 69 وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا Those people who are willing and looking of the goodness of this dunya, all the joy and happiness, a contentment, a relax and comfort without any harm and loss, make sure they need to strive and struggle to read the Kitab Allah, understand the Kitab Allah, get to know what Allah's ahkam, need to read the Seerah of Nabi Allah, get to know what the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and need to make their days and night accordingly. When they will be making, struggling and striving on his path to know what Allah wants, what Allah does not want, what are the likes and what are the dislikes of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is saying, لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُنًا Surely in this dunya, I will honor them and grant them whatever they're looking, seeking, and asking from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And hereafter, I will honor them forever with my pleasure. My respected brothers, sisters, and beloved children, isn't we all want to have a beautiful life full of joy and happiness? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beautifully had disclosed the secret of success in this dunya and also hereafter. If we are really seeking and looking the goodness of this dunya and want to have goodness of the akhirah, then what we need to do? We need to read Kitab Allah. We need to understand, get to know what Allah wants, what Allah does not want, what Allah is recommending, what Allah is instructing, what Allah is suggesting, and what has been shown by Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by reading his life, his seerah, and getting to know how was his days and how was his night. And when we'll do that, definitely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant us all the goods of this dunya and will honor us with his pleasure hereafter. And same time, we need to care and advise a courage our beloved one, our sons and daughters, our wife and children, our family members, our relative and circle, our community and entourage, uh, all the humanity. See how beautifully Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the advice of Hakim Luqman and Surah Al-Luqman at number 71 when he advised in regards to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in regards to his obedience, in regards to uh, goodness, uh, to his son, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala liked so much, he revealed the ayah, so make sure we can take a lesson. See how beautifully Hakim Luqman is advising his son, Ya Bunayya Aqim as Salah, O my beloved son, that no matter what, make sure you establish Salah during all your life. You pray on time. Same time you understand the importance, the virtues, the values of having this opportunity when you are praying Salah, you are standing in front of Allah, you are communicating, you are sharing, you are asking, you are requesting, you are so blessed and fortunate that Allah is allowing you to stand in front of Him and communicate with Him. Aqim is Salah. So make sure you establish Salah, you perform Salah, same time you ask your beloved one, your circle, your community, your surroundings, that make sure they all perform Salah. Through the Salah, they all can achieve the goodness of this dunya and also the goodness of the Akhirah. So that no matter what, you must perform Salah and same time ask others nicely and kindly to perform Salah on its time. Oh my son, engage yourself in a good, 
Engage yourself in hasanat. Engage yourself in the deed. Engage yourself on those act and action which make you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which may become a mean to achieve a pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which may become a mean to get the Allah's mercy, Allah's forgiveness, Allah's fadl in this dunya. And same time, encourage others, promote a good, share a good, ask others to engage a good. So they all can involve in the goodness what consider a deed and hasanat in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you all will be doing it there will be a beautiful environment amazing society loving and caring for one another and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be showering his peace and blessing upon you all and further he says oh my son keep a distance from all munkarat khurafat rusumat bid'at each and every act and action which consider unlawful which may become a means to get allah's anger you need to keep a distance then no matter what how much benefit you see in it but if that is against of allah's commands allah's instructions allah's recommendation oh my son keep a distance Always, at the same time, encourage your beloved one, your children, your family, uh, your surrounding people that keep a distance from all munkarat, all khurafat, all siliyat, all rusumat, each and every act and action which are against of Allah's commands and Allah's instruction. And then he's saying, وَصْبِرْ عَلَى مَا Whatever stage in the state of a life you're going through, whether sometime a trial, whether sometime a difficult challenges, whether sometime you're having a good what you're looking and desiring, just remain thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all stage of your life. Always be thankful. Whatever the situation internal and trial you're going through, just be connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Pray to Him. Seek His mercy. Seek His forgiveness. Make a dua. Whenever you're going through the tunnel and trial, Ya Allah, make ease for me. Ya Allah, give me a ways to get out from it. But again, Never disconnect yourself from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His mercy being unthankful because of the trial and the tunnel you're going through. And always be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whether whatever good you have received from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether it seemed to you a bit or whether it seemed to you a lot. Always remain at the condition of being thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then further he advised, وَلَا تُسَعِرْ خَدَّكَ للناس. Oh my son, don't be rude and harsh to anyone, to anyone at all. Then no matter what they have done, what you got from them. But when it comes to return, make sure you return them in the best way. Be nice and kind, be lenient and soft, be respectful for one another, be careful for one another, be loving and caring for one another. Don't be rude and harsh to one another. وَلَا تَمْشِ فِي الْأَرْضِ marha. And don't be pride and proud. Because you want nothing. Each and everything, this earth and the skies, the moon and the stars, everything belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah is giving you His fadl and letting you to live and utilize and benefit from His creation. So what do you own that you need to be a pride and proud of? There is nothing you own in this dunya. So always, when you're walking, when you're living, when you're dealing, when you're meeting, when you're greeting, makes you very humble, very respectful, very lenient, very soft, very kind by caring. In regards to one another, whenever you're talking, whenever you're communicating, whenever you're suggesting, whenever you are advising, whenever you're talking, make sure you need to have the wording and coding which need to have a sweetness in it. So whenever someone hears it, like a flower is coming from your mouth in the form of wording and coding. Make sure you're not hurt, make sure you're not a root, but in fact, your life, your day and night, your each and every moment should be beneficial to one another. What a wonderful lesson and advice Hakim Luqman gave to his son. 
isn't that is an amazing lesson for us all that we as a parent we take care of our sons and daughters their worldly affairs in regards to their education in regards to their financial situation what they will be doing with subject they will be learning what they will be earning my respected brothers and sisters that is also very important that if I and you, we have been blessed with the children, sons and daughters, we need to take care of their deen, we need to take care of their Islam, we need to take care of their ta'aleem of Qur'an, ta'aleem of Sunnah and Sharia. So make sure they know it. What Allah's ahkam, what Allah's command, what Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teaching, what Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sunnah, we need to assure that they should be having and they should be getting enough and sufficient knowledge of Qur'an, sufficient knowledge of Ahkam of Qur'an, sufficient ma'lumat information in regards to Allah's command, sufficient information in regards to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his ta'limat, his lifestyle, his likes and dislikes, so they can remain uh, on Islam and when they are dying, they should be dying as a Muslim. We need to assure that make sure how much my sons and daughter knows about Quran, how much my sons and daughter knows about Allah's Ahkam, how much my sons and daughter knows about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how much my sons and daughter knows about the seer of Nabi Allah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We need to assure that their belief should be firm in regards to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah is wahdahu la sharika lahu. He is alone each and everything, this dunya, this sky, this uh, earth, uh, this world, each and everything, whatever this world contained to it, it has been created, it has been made, and is honor is none other than one that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything is running and functioning with the will and the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to assure that they believe in regards to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he is the Khatam al he is the last and final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there won't be any Rasul and Nabi will be coming after what Quran is the last and the final revelation which he revealed to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and and Islam is the final religion, so they need to know Allah, they need to know Rasulullah, they need to understand Kitabullah, and then accordingly, they need to walk and make their days and night and spend their whole life according to Islamic principles. When we'll be taking care of Allah's ahkam, Prophet's command, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as he said, لَنَا دِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُولَنَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be showering his bounties, his blessing, his raham and his fadl upon us, and he will be guiding us toward the right path, the right track, so we can achieve all the goodness of this dunya, all the beauty, equality, and our life will be made full of joy and happiness. And what could be better than that? When we'll be resurrected hereafter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will honor us with pleasure. Make dua that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. At the same time, give us tawfiq to guide our children, give them proper education, the education of Quran, education of Sunnah, and that will be only possible when we'll connect our sons and daughters to the masajid, to the madaris, to the ulamas, to atqiyas, to the sulaha, and we'll we take them to their companionship when they will be having this opportunity, definitely they will be courage and they will be boost to know what Allah's ahkam, what Nabi's farman, and then definitely they will be inshallah encouraging them to walk on the right path and right track and by doing that they will be achieving goodness of this dunya and also goodness of the akhirah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us, forgive us. Wa akhiru dawana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.